Hi, Logan from Reef Breeders here, and today we're going to talk about the Reef Power RPM controller. First, we're going to go over some of the more basic functions, like the flow, different modes, and how to set the output intensity. Then, we're going to go into some of the more advanced features that are on board with these controllers, like the integrated timer function and the master slave functionality. Follow along as we go over the Reef Power RPM controller. First, let's go over some of the basic functions and what you see on your controller's LCD display. Up first, this is the current mode indicator. As you can see, it is running F1, or constant flow mode. This can be adjusted by pressing the mode button. Frequency indicates how fast your pump is pulsing. Flow indicates your pump's power output between 1 and 20. L indicates whether your light sensor is active or inactive. To toggle night mode on or off, press and hold the mode button. To activate a manual feed timer, press and hold the left or right arrow key. The left arrow key will activate a 10 minute feed mode, while the right arrow key will activate a 20 minute feed mode. Press and hold either button to cancel a current feed mode, or simply let the timer finish and the pump will restart. The third button will toggle master, slave, or neutral mode on your pump. Before we continue, let's do a brief overview on the difference between the frequency and the flow setting on these pumps. The frequency indicates the length of the pulse, or how long your pump is on for. For example, a frequency of 99 in mode 2 will create an extremely long pulse, while a frequency of 10 will create an extremely short pulse. The flow setting indicates how powerful your pump is. A flow of 20 or 100% power means that while your pump is on, it can go as high as the maximum power. A flow of 1 or 5% power indicates that while your pump is on, it's only going to go up to 5% power. Frequency and flow are only effective in certain modes. For example, in modes 1 and 7, frequency will have no effect on your pump. That is because mode 1 and 7 are both constant output modes and don't have differentiating pulse speeds. You can, however, change the overall output of the pump by adjusting the flow settings. The flow settings can be adjusted by using the up and down arrow keys on the lower pad on your controller. The Reef Power RPM also has onboard master slave functionality. In addition to being able to run your pump independently, you can link it with up to 20 additional slave units. Now, each slave unit will follow exactly what you input on the master controller and every pump links wirelessly. The linking process is a very simple process and just involves the touch of a button. To start, take your master controller and activate the screen by pressing any button. Then, press the button all the way to the right on the top row until the Wi-Fi indicator says M for master. Now, on your other controller, now this can be a, any one of the Quiet Pump Pluses, the Coral Box Reverse Nano 1, or another RPM pump. Do the same thing, except toggle the Wi-Fi mode to S for Slave Mode. Once your pumps are paired, any adjustments that you make on the Master Controller will also be followed on the Slave Controller. For example, changing the mode, now mode 3 is anti-sync pulse. You'll notice here that while one pump is on, the other pump is off. This creates a more pronounced wave effect. You'll see that I'm only pressing buttons on the master controller.
The master slave functionality can be used with up to 20 different pumps, where one master controls up to 20 slave units. This functionality is very useful for those who have larger tanks or multiple pumps. To set your timer, first press the timer button. It's going, this screen will then show up. First, set the current time by pressing the side arrow key. First thing you're going to want to do is change the hour. Since, it's 1 p since it is 1.57 p.m., I'm going to change that to 13. Next, select the time slot. Keep in mind that these are in chronological order. The first slot is right now programmed to run from midnight until midnight. I'm going to change that from midnight until 9 a.m. And between midnight and 9 a.m., I would like to be in mode 2, which is a pulse mode. Time slot 2 has to start at 9 a.m. Keep in mind that these should not overlap. I would like this to run from 9 until 10 a.m. At which point I would like to be in reef mode. Timer slot three is going to start at 10 a.m. and end at 1 p.m. And I'm going to run that in mode 5. Timer slot 4 is going to start at 1 p.m. And I would like to run that until 5 p.m. And again, I'd like to pulse. For my fifth timer slot, I would like to program the feed time from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. To do so, I'm using mode zero, which is a special timer function that will turn your pump off for the duration of the timer slot. For the final time slot, I'm going to run it from 6 p.m until midnight to match up with my first time slot. I'm going to run it in the randomized reef flow pattern. After I've finished programming, I'm going to press the timer button twice. This will return you to the main menu and run the timer function. You'll know it's working when it displays the current time slot, mode, and shows the clock moving. Thank you for watching. For more information on the Reef Breeders, Reef Power RPM, and our other products, visit us at www.reefbreeders.com. And as always, thank you for choosing Reef Breeders to power your tank.